This is Research Business Daily Report, where today we look at how procurement departments are altering their priorities. And we're also going to hear from two young and successful market researchers who give us the lowdown on what is turning on as well as holding back recruits to our industry, as well as why their peers are looking to leave their research jobs. Two very essential topics. We're sponsored today and this week by 2020 Research, the global leader in online qualitative research, helping you do better research. About a decade ago, market research agencies began having to deal directly, or if they were fortunate, indirectly with corporate procurement departments. It was an important departure from the good old days when client research departments had unfettered control over their agency choices for projects. There's a new GenPAC limited survey of 920 senior executives and 121 of them are procurement leaders and it presents important alterations in the assessments and priorities of procurement functions across corporate America. A majority of procurement executives are rating sourcing and category management as having the highest impact on nearly every enterprise challenge, followed by supplier performance and performance management. But 72% of procurement executives see transactional procurement as its most mature function, but also having the least potential impact. Now, the least mature area for procurement to devote attention and business are business intelligence and master data management. These also are viewed as having the highest potential impact on the challenges faced by the organization. Check out GenPAC's announcement of this survey. We've put it on as a link in the email that goes out to subscribers and in the information box directly underneath today's video. Next, our new research conference report features a couple of SMR Congress presentations. Both had to do with young researchers and the industry. Now, one of those papers came from TNS's Prerit Suda and Yum Restaurant's Rajna Rajan. And we were able to speak directly with them about researchers' opportunities and challenges in both recruiting and retaining our next generation of market researchers. Joining us today, Rajna, let me start by asking you, what do you think is the general state of attraction for market research for people um, who, um, who are in college, uh, who may or may not have any exposure to what market research is? Okay. Thank you, Bob, for having us here right today. And uh, to answer your question, uh, yes, you did mention the part about uh, college students having no idea of market research. So once they become aware of it, the attraction quotient is still very low. Now, why is that? Because, because A, they don't know what exactly they're going to be doing in that industry. We, they have no clue about that. B, it's not lucrative at all, given the very low remuneration packages, which entry level or even further, as you go higher up in the career ladder, the industry offers. and uh, and. Putting two and two together, if they were they were to look at it in terms of their return on investment perspective on their education, then the industry offers them nothing in terms of a career growth or even having a decent lifestyle. Uh, means I agree that our salaries are much lower. Uh, means it's like even if you compare with all geographies, generally we are quite paid less. Uh, and it's like also, I mean, I'll add further, there's also this brand image thing. We are always viewed as a kind of clipboard guy who is standing in the corner trying to catch you and ask these weird questions. Uh, so that's uh, one of the thing. And people also view uh, as an industry which is falling down with the uh, constant attack of tech, mobile, and all these companies. So they always view that should we go there or should we not. If a friend or a colleague came up to you who were not in the industry, and they asked you for the pros and the cons of coming into the industry. Rajna, what would you tell them in brief? In brief, uh, uh, in brief, uh, well, I would be two persons there. I would like, uh, uh, first, if I was a friend to that person, uh, I would tell the person, please don't take it up because you are going to be spoiling your life, you don't have a career, you don't have a work-life balance, you don't have time for your family, and you're going to be paid less. 
so would you want to take that but if i understood my friend in such a way that the passion for research is there the pa passion to learn something passion to add value and you're never stagnant there's always something constantly happening in the industry i don't think there's any industry right now which teaches you more than this so given that i would tell the person to go else no so i would give both the options please you know you are wise enough to make a decision um I means i would say negative uh, certainly the salary is one of the negative points uh, brand image bad uh, i will disagree on the work life balance i will say that it depends from people to people um as far as the positive side i will say that this industry is up for new changes uh, with new ways how data is analyzed and how it will be analyzed in the future is exciting changes are risky but if you really r like these kind of changes um I mean this is a place where you can actually get hands dirty which you won't get in some other places like consulting or anything like that so if you like that kind of stuff um come here it's risky but yes you can make it big did, did either or both of you get any um reaction after you made your presentation uh, in in nice um i mean means i made the presentation uh I mean, means I'll means I'll quickly say something. I uh, mean, the person who was hosting it, Amaury, he's a uh, means you might be knowing him. I uh, mean, his quick reaction was, I uh, mean, before I said it, he was like, "You are anti-market research," and it's like I hate you. And I mean, it's like, and you, I mean, it's like, I mean, it's like you totally um, don't like this industry. And when he heard me, he felt that you know what? No, there are certain points which needs to be pondered into. And it's like uh, he felt that you know what? You had certain interesting things to say. And the same thing. the same audience said that that you know what yes there are problems yes you were a bit dramatic and bit uh, appeared to be uh, negative but you had valid points and you had valid solutions which can be implementable uh, so it's like in the end people were quite positive and it's like i still keep on getting emails that you know what uh, it's like we liked your paper or it's like we want to see your video or whatever yeah That's your research business daily report we've been sponsored by 2020 Research the global leader in online qualitative research helping you do better research 2020 knows that researchers need their work done fast hassle free and correctly and with the industry's most comprehensive suite of software and services plus some of the very best and most professional project managers you will see why 2020 Research is the global leader in online qualitative research check out www.2020research.com for all the details have a great research day and we'll see you back here tomorrow